Runk. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to Congratulations. I do. How much are you guys going TTs uh, lately? I'm going so I'm going potty bathroom number one so much. I'm 43, and I guess that's just how it happens. I guess that's just how it happens. I got to go right now. Before I got into the uh, studio, into the congratulations studio, before I got here, I was like, do I have to go? And I was like, nah. Dude, I got to go. It's been, I've been sitting here for for 10 minutes. Got to go. So, so I don't know, man. I I guess I should just go. I hold it. I hold off on it for a long time though. I, I do. I don't like getting up and going. I don't like that. My body's in control of me. Um, but yeah, and uh, I, I do. I try to drink more water nowadays because my muscles need it, dude. To hit the deadlifts today. I don't even do deadlifts, but yeah, I, um, I, I just, uh, I got I keep going potty, dude. And I'm saying potty because I don't know what flags YouTube, what YouTube flags. But I've been going potty a lot lately. And look, I go number two five times a day, and that's fine. It's always been that way. But man, the TT has been coming strong for real. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm potty training my son. I don't really know what it is. But uh, I walked by um, this. I walked by my gym. I was going to my gym, and I walked by this dude that was had a, a his baby girl, I think, in a stroller, and he was just like with her like pushing her back and forth sitting down looking at her and he and 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 he looked at me like he wanted to active like actively make eye contact with me like it, you know when someone makes eye contact with you and it just you're like oh that person i guess is making eye contact with me, contact with me or you look and you're like oh is that per- okay we made eye contact oh that's all good doesn't mean anything we just made eye contact this guy was actively looking at me trying to bore a hole into my head which is fine he was because i looked i I had to give up i gave up and i looked at him you know because like being look two things you don't want to do or something you don't want to do as either a a guy who people recognize or a hot chick you don't want to have a conversation all day long with somebody right so I'm like, maybe I won't, but then he, he he was really, really going for it. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll give him a I'll give him a look. I give him a look. He's smiling. Dude, it, I mean, the smile was crazy big. And I was like, all right, well, this guy's happy. Okay. So then, you know, I warmed up because I was like, oh, he's gonna be real nice. It's not gonna be annoying. I see him with his I mean, she's gotta be, I mean, six months. And he says, Hey, this could be you. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I, I, I guess what did I, I don't I guess I don't know what he meant, because like I first of all, I have kids. But second of all, maybe he doesn't know I have kids. So that's fine. But then that's also just a weird thing to say to somebody, especially when you're actively trying to get them to look at you so you could say it. So my whole thing was he must have known who I was because he was actively maybe. You know what? I just realized maybe I met this guy before. Maybe he has no idea what I do. Maybe I just have met him before, like in passing. That could be it. We, I think we may crack the case. But the thing was, he says, this could be you. And as I walk by, I take a few steps further. I'm like, I, what do I say? You know, I have this sometimes, I, like I think really quick on my feet. Obviously, I'm a comedian. I have to because I like hecklers and stuff. And like, just like, you know, I've done stupid game shows. But like, um, I was like, Sometimes when somebody like says something, you're like, oh, "What's the right thing to say?" And you end up saying some st- something really just dumb. And I know you you get it. I know you do that too sometimes. But as a professional comedian, it's more embarrassing. And if I wasn't a sociopath, I, path, I, path, I'd be embarrassed. But uh, I turn around and I look at him and I say, "Buddy, I got two. And and I and I smile to let him know. It's not aggressive. Dude, there's so much stuff goes on in your head when you're talking, you know? It's so crazy. Like, in my head, I'm, like, thinking, oh, I I want him to understand it's okay. He said what he said, but I don't get it. So, so what do I do? So I say something that I think is nice, but I got to do it on the fly. But then it sounds 
like, p- buddy, I, I got two. Could be totally aggressive if you just read it. Buddy, I got two. You don't know what you're talking about. And I don't want him to think of, you should know I got two because I'm a personality, right? You should see me in the on, on Instagram. But I say to him, buddy, I got two. <laughs> and I smile even h- harder. So now we're like, the two, now we're like, it's like we're in Black Hole Sun, the music video, just look at each other. Just with those big ass smiles, and then and then I'm well past him, and he says, "You do," and I'm like, "We're way too far to be continue." He asked me an, another question, and I'm so far. So now I'm so far, and I say, "Yup," <laughs> and it's just like I'm actually not even a hundred percent sure. That he was talking about, hey, I, you could this could be you having a kid. Because he also had a dog. I I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know. So maybe something maybe he thought maybe he thought I saw something that happened right before maybe his wife got mad at him and walked into the, you know, supermarket or something and I, he thought I saw that he said this could be you I, who knows. Had that whole conversation have no idea what it was about but anyway that guy was, seemed really nice. So good, so good, so good, so good. Thank you. I, you're so um, frivolous with your products, man. You're slapping the table, they're flying everywhere, you're tossing the glasses. Ray J. They're unbreakable. unbreakable. Talking about his they're unbreakable. Big glasses. Break them. Step on it right now. No, you step on them. It's your product. You step on them. So confident. Hey, you can break glasses, you know? Speedy, step on them. I can't do that. So he puts the glasses, Speedy. Puts the glasses uh, on the floor. Step on him. He says, no, you step on him. Still relaxed. So hardcore. Ray J is so relaxed. It's like it's like he just got done making his sex tape. Okay, so. Kid, I bet you I can break these. They're unbreakable. Speedy. They're not unbreakable. Speedy. speedy. Don't tell me they're unbreakable. Listen, Don't challenge they, me. Listen. Don't challenge me, Ray J. They're I will un- break them. Listen, Speedy, they're unbreakable. They cannot break. It's impossible. Now he just snaps the glasses in half. I don't care. Ah, (laughs) Not the default. They're unbreakable. (laughs) And then a few beats. I don't care. Dude. That's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. I, I, uh, I think that honestly... Um... Oh, it's good how my headphones keep coming out, how how they keep dislodging. Oh, good, dude. I can't hear myself. Oh, good, dude. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I just feel like you're so... Um, dude, I can't... I, I just... So good that Ray J it has this kind of confidence. This is the kind of confidence... Also, let me ask you a question. Ray J, what is it about black people? They've been around forever and they're still 25. It's so crazy. Like, dude... It, it, and 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 the thing is, they're so young, so long, and then all of a sudden they become Morgan Freeman and are ninety for seventy years. Dude, black people got it like that, man. They say black don't crack. They don't crack until it crack, and then it keeps it that way for seventy years. But anyway, I tried to do that bit on stage once, and it was just kind of a racist. Um, I could I can get away with my my podcast because there's no audience and you don't expect them to laugh or not. But on stage, they have to laugh. If they don't laugh, I'm just bombing. Let me tell you something, dude. Uh, I love it. I, I, I actually, I saw that. I, I keep meaning to bring this up because it's so funny to me, but I saw a comment I, and I keep forgetting. I saw a comment. Um, and, and somebody, I, I don't look at comments a lot. I do sometimes, but I used to be online, live online, and just see everything. I see almost nothing now. And, dude, I saw a comment the other day because I was on my YouTube studio, and I saw it on the YouTube studio, and it said, man, this bit, (laughs) I don't remember what bit it was because it was like a month ago. This bit bombed on the podcast. Let me just, let me just set, let me just set the expectation And the record straight here, okay? This podcast should be called bombing. 
this is always me bombing. Nobody's in here except for one producer. By the way, tired of my shit. I've known him for 25 years. You know, like never laughs unless like a mistake happens. Remember when I hit my head on the on the fucking thing back here that he laughed at that. Dude, the whole thing is bombing. This I am shocked people listen to this still. And they really do. A lot of people do. And it is always bombing. So if you say, well, that bit bombed on a bike, what bit isn't bombing? I, 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 this is always bombing and that's it. So let me set the expectation and let me set the, uh, the, the record straight here. It's bombing and it's all good. I'm bombing and I'm all good. And I don't care. You know, I lost my mind a long time ago. I don't care. But I do, I do care. I don't want to obviously bomb, but like, how do you bomb on a podcast? I don't know. What I do know is I met uh, somebody recently, a girl with a, 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 a voice I was talking about this with my friend because it was my friend's friend. And let me, dude, it is, what, how, how come I've never heard anybody talk about this? Because I'm about to say something that should be said a lot of times and it should be hacky by this point, but I've never heard anybody say this. People with bad voices just straight up need to change their voice. You get no respect if you have a bad voice. You just get no respect. If you're a guy that sounds like this, and that's how you sound, change your voice. And I know it's not that easy. Too bad. Gymnasts can flip on a four-inch beam. That's hard to... That's harder. Change... Some girls talk like this. Yo, you're in control of that. Change your voice. And if if it's too hard, then just do an impression of someone else for the rest of your life. Dude, that is so crazy. I met someone that was talking like this, and I just go, in my head, I, I, I think, oh, it's too bad. Hey, life of loneliness, I go, in my head. I go, aw, Life of loneliness. You can't have a bad voice. You cannot have a bad voice. At best, your voice, at worst, your voice can be only okay. Dude, it, you get, you gotta, you gotta be only online and not doing videos if you have a bad voice. And it blows my mind that some people with bad voices just chill with their bad voice. And they'll be like, Gonna go out, gonna go out to the supermarket and gonna ask a, uh, an employee, well, excuse me, guy. And that's your voice. Do you know where the bushels of, you know, change it, dude. Also, here's the good part. If you have a fucked up voice, you can change it to anything. It's like moving to a city and starting over. You, you just change your voice and that you pick, be Irish. Like, you know, be, 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 be a grizzled man. Be a guy who does voiceover for Ford. You know what I'm saying? Well, as long as you do it the whole time, it doesn't matter. It hurts. It doesn't matter. You're getting no respect. You get a lot of respect. You're talking like this. Boy, I tell you. Excuse me. Do you know where your long stems are? I've been looking. Just, I need something for Valentine's Day. For who? I got 90 women. I need 90 long stems. Um, But yeah. But I mean, and it's like, that bit bombed, but like nobody's in here. Um, I just think that if you have a bad voice, you need to, you need to, you need to absolutely change it forever. Did I talk about how I did the monkey bars on the po- on the podcast? How I was trying to hang with one arm, yes. dude. Made fucking zero progress. Bro, I did pull-ups and I did negatives. I went down five, se- bro. Zero progress, dude. It's too hard, but I'm still gonna keep doing it. Um, and that's not neither. That's really neither here nor there. But um, I've been watching. Uh, dude, you know what I did? I've been watching. Well, no, let me just actually talk about, because Calvin's birthday, he's four. Happy birthday, he's four. 
right? And in the past week or two, he's like changed into a straight up boy, you know, like he was a, uh, a, I don't know what's before a boy because he wasn't a toddler, but now he's like a kid, I guess, whatever it is. It's like, and he's just like saying stuff. That's so cool. So, 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 so many like sentences that I'm like, well, the kid is so advanced with his speech. It's unbelievable. And, um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there, but, uh, he's been like, what, you know, Chris is like, what kind of party you want for your birthday? And he says, transformers. So Kristen went all out. She did everything. She made the whole, we, 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 we went to a place. She decorated it. It was like a jungle gym kind of place. Um, and because this is what an idiot I am, dude, because the party was so, uh, you know, transformers themed <laughs> that dude, how stupid am I, dude? So Calvin is like, uh, what I said, we want for your birthday. He says transformers and hot wheels. So Everyone, you know, I get him some Transformers. Other people get him Transformers. They know he likes Transformers. So now he's got a bunch of Transformers. So now I'm sitting around the house looking at Transformer toys. And I'm like, dude, dude what, an, what a fucking moron, dude. And I think, you know what I'm going to watch tonight? Transformers. Dude, I'm 43. I'm 40 fucking three. And now I'm going to watch Transformers. Okay? Because my son had a Transformers birthday party. So I turn on, hey, you know which one I turn on? Hey, you know which one I turn on? People are like, people are probably like, oh, which one did you see? Oh, you know which one I turn on? Uh, what Transformers I turn on? You know which one I turn on? One of them. Any. Huh? I'll tell you, the only thing I know is it wasn't the first one. Hey, dude. Hey, Chris, which Transformer did you turn on? Doesn't matter. Did it have dinosaur transformers in it? I don't remember. Maybe. I think there were baby dinos in it, but I don't know. So I turn it on. Mark Wahlberg was in it. It was one of those. And I'm watching it. And and how? How? How do the, I it doesn't matter. You could they could make anything. Look, the movies are bad. They're obviously bad. They're supposed to be bad. OK, you can't look at me. You cannot look at me and tell me that a that Transformers, the movie is supposed to be good. You, you can't, period. And I don't mean the Shia LaBeouf. I don't know. Maybe that one was good. I haven't seen it in a long time. But you just cannot look at me and tell me, hey, dude, Fast and the Furious, Transformers, that movie, G.I. Joe, that's a good movie <laughs> because it's not supposed to be. Dude, OK, you can't. Yeah, it's a good movie and it's supposed to be good. No. Hey, dead. No. So I turned on something. Yo, actually, I just remember one of the titles of the Transformers movies, dude. For one of them, the one I saw was The Last Night. Okay, so here's the thing. You know me. Do you do you know me? If you know me, if you're a fan of the show and you know Crystalia, you know one thing's for sure. Dude, he didn't stop at watching one. So what'd he do after he turned on The Last Night? He looked at the other ones to turn on one of the other ones. Bro. One of the other ones is called, this is maybe the worst title in history, Dark of the Moon. Hey, hey, try harder. Hey, it's not poetry. Dark, not dark side. Isn't that, isn't that like a Pink Floyd album or something? That's why they couldn't do it. They're like, uh, just take out side and we can use it for our dorky movie. Dark of the Moon. Okay. So guess what? Your boy watched that ones too. And then guess what? He watched the other one with the beasts in it. And then guess what? I'm going to watch the Shia LaBeouf one later. I'm such a fucking crazy guy. And in the meantime, now I'm like, hey, Calvin, you want to watch Transformers? He's like, no, I only want to watch those cartoon ones. So now the cartoon ones are are cool, I guess. But I don't like, dude, in Transformers, there's so much wrong. Look, I love loved Transformers, which means I love Transformers. Because if I loved them, I love them. Okay. When I was a kid, you can't grow up. I don't like when people are like, "Yeah, that's stupid." It's like, dude, you were you were eight when you liked it. You still you 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 can reserve a spot in your heart for it in the past. You love it. So, I'm watching uh, Transformers. There is so much wrong with this fucking story. Period. Not even the movie. Just the fact that the Transformers, the story is the way it. Okay, so they're from an alien planet. It, it, you know what it is? I realize it's so fucking Japanese. 
It's got to be from Japan. It, dude, it's so... So... They're from a planet called Cybertron. Which is cool that the planet's called Cybertron. And they're robots in disguise. Okay? Now, what do they disguise themselves as? Cars. Okay? But they're cars on Cybertron, too. So my two questions are, number one, who are you disguising yourself for on Cybertron? And number two, how the fuck do you know about cars? Dude, that is bonkers. They just get to Earth and they're like, oh, good. good. Oh, wow, this is crazy. Just so happens we look like, co- hey, look at that. We look just like automobiles. Roll out. I do that. I go, roll out. I go, Autobots, roll out. And Calvin says, do you do that good, Dad? And it makes me feel so good, dude. So I do that. But anyway, we had a blast at Calvin's party. Um, Check out Special Messages' new album, Cheat Death, out now. Go to my page if you want to purchase a 10-word ad or shout out holler.baby slash Crystalia. I was uh, watching. We got the technical difficulty sorted out, by the way. We made a little cut there. Sorry, guys, but we had to, dude. I couldn't hear myself, and we had the wrong piece in the wrong thing with the microphone, and we got it figured out. But, dude, I was... um, watching uh, here's the the he, let me so the ai stuff the sora sora what's it called sora ai ai of sora sora all good dude we're done you know here's here's my buddy keeps saying it doesn't matter what ai does because people will still want to see real humans i so push back and disagree with that because ai is going to be so bonkers good Nobody's going to care. They're just going to make a movie star. If that's fake, you know, Jim Clockwork there, that's a guy. And now he's the hero in a bunch of movies. And guess what? He also does crazy good acting in dramas. And he also does, he could play a scary guy. It's AI. Sora just, it's over. And, 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 and people sent me, you know, a, a bunch of links to it when, once, when it dropped and they were like, Look, dude, oh, great. The, you know, I can't believe this. How can you not believe it? We are so beyond fucked. We are so beyond fucked. Hollywood is beyond fucked because they're like, well, uh, then it'll, we'll just have to make better stories. Yeah, but you know who could make a fucking great story? Some guy. Some guy who just owns Sora can just make a fucking story and make that happen. Fast and the Furious 11, dude, hey, I'm going to make it. Fast and the Furious 20, we'll say that. By then, I'm going to make Fast and Furious 20, and it's going to be so dope. Bro, Paul Walker's coming back. Fucking not just Paul Walker. There's going to be like, I'm going to put Gregory Peck in it. Like, And it, 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 they're all in it. They're all in it. Fucking uh, uh, Sammy David, Davis Jr. with two good eyes is going to be in it. You know? My th- my third brother. I don't have one, but I'm going to create him an AI. He's going to be racing Sammy Davis Jr. with two good eyes. And, 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 and check this out. The movie's going to make so much sense. And it's going to be so dope. And Vin Diesel's not in it. I'm not going to put him in it, dude. Oh, well. You're not in Fast and Furious 20. And you might even be dead by then, but it doesn't matter because Sammy Davis Jr. is dead also. And his eye died a long time before that. But I got him back in it now, alive, with two good eyes. Two alive eyes. Fast and the Furious 20, written and directed by Chris Lee. And I know, I know that there's probably going to still be a Fast and Furious 20. That's not the one. The one I make is going to (laughs) be... Is going to be the one, dude. Because you want to watch it with Vin Diesel in it? And 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 Ludacris? And Tyrese? And Michelle Rodriguez or whatever the fuck? Or do you want to watch it with Paul Walker, 
my third brother that doesn't even exist, and Sammy Davis Jr. with two eyes. No brainer. And we're going to call it fast and absolutely furious. The, tw- the part twenty. And 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 here's the other thing: free. I'm gonna put it on YouTube. First scene is everyone stabbing and killing Vin Diesel, and that's that, and for no reason. But but after that, it makes sense, and it's a good story anyway. Because I go into the sore, I say, but but hey, make it really good though. But don't make it, you know. Actually, you know what you can do with Sora? Fix Fast and the Furious 3 and make it better. Make it make more sense. Bo- Yo, Hollywood is done. Sora would. I swear to God, I'm going to... You could ju- ju- Some guy can just make a, a, a fucking, you know... You don't need anything. What about cooking shows? B- gone. Guy Fieri? B- gone. Make a new one. Man Fieri? Gone, right? Emerald, gone. Turquoise, bam, that's him. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, you don't. It's it's so bonkers, and it's so bonkers, and it could be so bonkers, and it's well beyond fucked. They're like, dude, I like how Sora was like, well, we only gave it to a few people. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. A few people are evil. Okay. Um. Here, stunning videos from OpenAI's, OpenAI, that's what it is, Sora. Six stunning videos from OpenAI's new Sora tool that looked scary good. And and, they, and guess what, dude? They got the fingers right. They got the fingers right. No, they, uh, oh, fuck it. This is making me sign into ads. I can't watch this because it's making me sign in. Did this article or something? Stupid ass. No, hold on. Uh, these, these, what look to be like Asians are just walking through the snow. It's snowing and it's, it's nice, dude. That's it. I, that's so awesome. Okay. Look, so it says, uh, AI videos just got a whole lot more realistic. Open AI creative. Dude, this is not Thursday. Their new Sora tool, which generates short AI videos based on user prompts. The tool is not yet available to the public. Uh, dude, they should add when it is available to the public. Uh, we will have one, one week roughly left to live. I mean, dude, it's, you know how fucked up it's going to be? It's already fucked up because Trump will do something. We have video of him doing it. And then he'll be like, I didn't do it. And then people are like, good, he didn't do it. So it's already happening. So now you can have videos of everything. It's all fucked. Uh, the tool is not yet available to public. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman was taking requests from users on X. Oh, man. From a grandmother cooking homemade gnocchi. What, what, a, what a stupid suggestion, you know? You just film your grandmother doing it. Because you know somebody who said that misses their grandmother making it. And a monkey playing chess in a park. Look at this. A grandmother cooking homemade gnocchi. What a what a boring thing to do. Everyone in the cast of Fast and Furious 10 stabbing Vin Diesel. Whoa, this is absolutely crazy. She's really making it. Gnocchi. Holy crap. The fingers aren't on. I love the people that get that, that they harp on the fingers because it's like, dude, that it's going to take a day to fix one day. It's not yet. But like once AI figures out, by the way, they already figured it out. They got they already figured it out. They haven't, they, they have the, the, the 90th version already, even though this is the first version, they have the 90th version because this shit duplicated. It kept on doubling. It kept doubling it until they kill us. This is crazy. An, inst- an, an, inst- an instructional cooking session for homemade gnocchi hosted by a grandmother's social media influencer set in rustic Tuscan country kitchen with cinematic lighting. You know? A monkey playing chess in a park requested by Mr. This was requested by Mr. Beast. Dude, if you're Mr. Beast, you got power. You could ask for anything. This is what you ask? Monkey playing chess in a park? Why does I have a red hat on? I voted for Trump too. Pretty wild, okay. The company provided photorealistic. So, uh, wow. Prompt. A stylish woman walks down to Tokyo Street filled with warm, glowing neon and animated city signage. Wow. 
This is absolutely crazy. You can create origami underwater. See, you can do any sorts of things. Dude, where's the porn? For real. Woolly mammoths looks like they survived the Ice Age. There's another one. Several giant woolly mammoths approach treading through a snowy meadow. Their long woolly fur lightly blows in the wind as they walk. I mean, the people who, they, with the prompts, they think they're novelists, you know? Look at, the, look at the prompt that this person wrote. Several giant woolly... See, this is why my AI is going to suck. I'm just going to be like, guys fucking farting. They're so sloppy and, they're, and, they, and shit comes out of their butt. Oh, do that one. Hey, Mr. Beast, a monkey playing chess? <laughs> I, 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 guys lounging around and then they decide to shit, to fart so hard they shit everywhere and then they catch fire and then uh, ninjas come in and, and decapitate them. Do that one. I want to see those. Look at this. Ne- several giant woolly mammoths. Pro- look at the way the, the person wrote it. Woolly mammoths approach tre- treading through a snowy meadow. Their long woolly fur lightly blows in the wind as they walk snow covered trees and dramatic snow capped mountains in the distance. Mid afternoon light. Dude, you have to be a fucking novelist. Yeah. Wow. This is absolutely fucking crazy. Stylized animations, too. Wow. Wow. Dude. Oh, my God. And I get to be alive during this time? I quit. I quit life, dude. I'm moving. I'm doing the Yellowstone shit. I'm moving to Montana. I'm staying there. I get the weirdest feeling from that shit. AI art is so dope, too. Because we created it. How about the Rachel Dolezal thing? She lost a job off of an OnlyFans account. I didn't know she had an OnlyFans account. Dude, was this knowledge? Did people know this? This is crazy, dude. Rachel Dolezal has a an OnlyFans account. Isn't she fucking 50? How old is she? I don't know how old she is, but that's so crazy. That's so crazy. I, I I keep on asking my wife, can I get an OnlyFans account? And she says, no, dude. I was like, dude, do you know how much we could possibly make? I'll just stand in the kitchen and I'll just show my penis on video. And, you know, I'll tighten my knees up and just do, you know, a little bit of jerking or whatever the fuck. It's like, I, you know, I don't want to, but dude, millies a year, uh, you know, I'll do it. She won't let me, man. Um, I wonder how much, honestly, like if you got straight up, uh, uh, like an act, like an act, I can't think of a comedian, I don't know, but like an actor, like, uh, like that's as famous as me. I don't know what kind of, who, what actor that is and his wife. And they just started just, the guy just started plugging. It's like the second lead on a CSI show just started an OnlyFans and just plugs his wife on it, you know? And it's <laughs> it's twelve ninety nine a month. Like how much he would make. If it was like the second most popular CSI and the second lead of CSI. Of that mo- second most So it's like that guy, you know? And it's just like and and they do like CSI type stuff. You know, it's it's porn, I guess, but it's just like the 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 the, the OnlyFans video will start like I'm. She'll be like, "Oh, do you have do you hack in the account?" He's like, "I'm way ahead of you." And then all of a sudden, it's just like, you know, stroking and stuff, just tightening his knees up in the kitchen and busting. Yeah. And so now she lost a job. Did she just keep the hits keep coming for her because she was uh, said she was black or something for a while and nobody believed it. She looks like she could be black. Um, what is Nikechi Diallo, formerly known as Rachel Dolezal? She changed her name like she's fucking Prince. Is speaking out after losing her teaching job in Arizona. So here's the deal, dude. We're not. This is like the kind of thing where it's like, if you can do blackface and not actually be racist, it's possible. To actually do it, but you gotta know if you do it, everyone's gonna think you're racist. Okay, so same thing goes for you're a teacher. 
it's maybe they shouldn't judge you if you have an OnlyFans, but you can't do that. You're going to get fired, okay? Her posts are contrary to our district's use of social media by district employees. It shit. Policy of our staff and ethics policy. It shit. Um, look, Diallo sparked controversy in 2015 for identifying as black despite having two white parents. Y- yo, this lady's. Dude, she's 46. How about this? If you're 46, not having all the fans. Unless you're absolutely smoking. Dude, for real. That's okay. If you're smoking, have one if you're 46. Um, this is crazy, dude. Oh my God. People ask me how they can support. She wrote, show me some love with show me love. Show me some love with an order from my art website. Oh man. And her artwork has been no, the, the subject of controversy. Jesus Christ. This woman's living in controversy. Who who's she? Me? Um Oh, plagiarism for a side by side artwork? Oh, wow. That's the same. She just basically copied it. That's pretty gangster, honestly. Hey, it's kind of good. Um, Anyway, that's in people, so you know it's true, because people never lies. Wow, man, this world keeps going crazy. I was talking to my therapist the other day, and I was like, "Oh man, I'm I'm like scared because you think about having kids in this world, and it's like when they're my age, what is this world going to be? Or somebody's going to hit the red button, you know? And it's like she's like, "Yeah, but every generation thought that," and she's right. And I already knew that. I'm not like one of these guys that doesn't know that. I know that. I know that this generation, the generations always say, "Oh boy, this next generation is going to hell in a handbag." I understand that, but but. It's kind of true in a certain way. I know that, you know, there's more money and there's more uh, 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 more good in the world now than, than there's ever been. But also, dude, there's also more bad, though, you know. And also, there's more good until there's not. Until there's too many people and somebody hits the red button, dude. That's what I'm saying. That is absolutely what I'm saying. I just want my... Dude, I'm so happy to be a dad. I want my sons to just thrive, man. Oh, my son. When we do when I was... Eh, never mind. I don't want to tell it. I don't want to tell it. I don't want to. I saw the... Uh, <clears throat> the dude, the fact that Trump went to sneaker con... Here, hold on. He went to sneaker con. I, was, I keep telling myself I won't talk about... You know what? I actually... I'm not talking about politics. But then I did the thing about Elizabeth Warren and then Trump. I think if you just say Trump, it's politics. Or if you say Biden, it's politics, according to YouTube. I don't want to get political, but you know, he's got, yeah, but he's got ideas, dude. He wants to shape the world. Dude, the Trump, President Trump, high top sneakers sold out hours after the launch Saturday at Sneaker Con in Philadelphia. I'm surprised it, well, no, because they were only in person. So I guess it would have taken hours. The shoe's called the Never Surrender High Top Sneaker, you know, sell for $399. I, who, what is that? Who, who does that ninety nine cents, ninety nine dollars thing work on? You know you're spending four hundred dollars. That's like something that in the, the, that, that worked in the thirties. Does that still work? Anyway, the pair, along with two low top sneakers and ninety nine bottle of Vic, ninety nine dollars bottle of Victory forty seven perfume. Is that his perfume? Trump has perfume, Victory forty seven. And cologne were available for purchase on a new website. Okay, so you could get low top sneakers. Now, so here's the deal. I'm not a fan of the high top sneakers at all. Oh, the low top ones are are bad too, honestly. Uh the 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 Trump now the Trump cologne looks packaged really nicely. $99. You know how we feel about cologne and um perfume cologne it's awful i thought my wife had it on the other day and i was like baby you want perfume and she's like no and i was like all right dude i can't stand perfume and cologne i can't stand it i think i'm allergic to all of it i don't know i sneeze but um anyway trump says i just want to tell you i've been waiting i've I've wanted to do this for a long time trump said that saturday when unveiling the sneaker line 
I have some incredible people that worked with me on things. And they came up with this, and this is something I've been talking about for 12 years, 13 years, and I think it's going to be a big success, he said. So if you're pretty good, I've never done a Trump impression. Um, a thousand pairs of shoes. So in an, in a few hours, the dude sold $400,000 in shoes. That's so <laughs> gangster, dude. Um, so there you go. And some were autographed by Trump. Okay. The red wave ones also were $200. Those are like the sock one. They look like Adidas would have came out with them in, in uh, 2015. Um, but anyway... Uh, the, the, the shoes are, are, are bad, but I'll tell you what though, they, I think they're off. I don't like, like gold shoes like that, like the, but I'll tell you what, I'd cop them in an instant dude, for real. And guess what? I get them in any size. I don't care. I'd crunch in them. I wouldn't wear them though. Cause I'd want to resell them. Dude, they're reselling for like thousands of dollars. Isn't that wild? You could just make a shoe. I got to make a shoe. It's probably so I'd probably make the worst shoe, you know? I'd just be like, and this is for your condoms, this pouch right here. Um, yeah, sneak. he went to Sneaker Con. I went to Complex Con. I went to those con conventions. There's conventions for everything. It's crazy. I had the guys over last night. I, I had Brent Morin, Rick Glassman, and I had um, uh, David Sullivan. And then my wife was here and our friend. Jerica and we were all watching a movie. Now here's the deal, dude. Rick Glassman, last time he came over, he picked Rick Glassman. If you don't know him, he's a comedian podcaster. We were on Undateable together. Great guy, funny. You guys know Brent Moore and same Undateable. I was on Undateable reunion. Really, I didn't realize it, dude. So we watching. We, 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 last time they were over, Rick picked the movie. He picked the movie Moonfall by with uh, the worst piece of shit ever with uh, Halle Berry. It's so bad. And then halfway through, Rick admitted that he watched it. And he's already seen it, dude. And I'm like, this is so bad. And look, I like bad movies, but not like that. It was too bad. Anyway, so now I'm like, let's watch maybe one that looks interesting. So I pick this movie called Monolith, which is all takes place in one room, one, one house, which I'm not, I don't love movies like that, but it all takes place in one house. It's about a woman who has a podcast and, and she's starting a new podcast and these black bricks are getting delivered to people and it's this alien thing and she's trying to uncover it all while doing this podcast, these episodes of this podcast. Sounds boring as shit. Kind of was boring as shit, but I'll tell you what, boring movies are my favorite movies, okay? Because, because I, I like when movies take their time and, Anyway, it was boring, but it was it was worth watching, and it was, it was I don't know if it was worth watching, but it was okay. But dude, Rick was like, "Oh man, this one sucks," and I was like, "You don't get to say shit because of the fucking Moonfall movie that we had to watch." And dude, he was complaining about it so much, I'm like, "All right, I'll turn it off." And then I realized that he said, "Oh, uh, he was making everyone think." No, sorry, he was making me think that I needed to change the channel and put something else on. And when I went to go do it, everyone was like, no, it's okay. I like the movie. And I realized, oh, shit, that's what I do. Dude, he was doing what I did to people. And I look at my wife and my wife was like, this is what you do. Everyone has to watch what you watch. I was like, but that's what Rick's doing. And she's like, yeah, well, it's annoying when you do it too. Fuck, dude. And he's coming over tomorrow for a facial. Dude, my wife, yo, my wife's gets a, getting a facial. That someone's coming over to do a facial on my wife and, and Rick Glassman. Like, he's just coming over to get to get a facial. I've never had a facial. I don't want a facial. My wife is so... You got to get a facial. And get your feet done, too. You, the, 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 the What do you call it? Dude, it's amazing what women... that What they turn into, you know? Like, they just... my my Like, she, she looks at me at my feet the other day. And she sees my yellow toenails. And she says, you got to get that checked out. And I'm like, what? And she's like, your toenails. And I was like, they've been like that for 20 years. And she's like, well, that's why you get checked out. And I'm like, oh, I'm not, I don't want to get them checked out. And she's like, well, you should. Uh, dude, I keep putting off my colonoscopy. Could you fucking imagine if I went to the doctor to show him a yellow toenail? Dude, one time I went in to a, a doctor's office because I kept getting, this is kind of graphic. How do I say it without being, a fissure. That's the what it's called. You, 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 it's when you're, the inner wall of your, it's so gross. It, it, not, it's not really that gross. The inner wall of your rectum is chapped and it bleeds. Actually, I'm, it sounds so gross. 
I kept getting them because I don't, I didn't drink enough water, I guess, back when I was like 32. I kept going to the doctor. I was like, yo, my butt's bleeding again. And the last time I went, he was like, oh, again, oh, well, all right. And I was like, oh, I'm never coming back again. Dude, be nice. The more embarrassing the thing is with the doctor, be, I'm coming in about my anus, bro. And he's like, oh, I'll check again. Okay. I'm um, okay. All right. You know what? Hey, I might be, I might die, die because of bleeding from the anus because of your reaction. It was like when, when, uh, my wife, when, <laughs> dude, we were at dinner once with my, uh, business manager and my wife was talking about the wedding and she was like, is it okay if we spend this much? Dude, my business manager goes like this. <laughs> yes. And I, and I go. Oh, that cost me a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, that little chuckle cost me, huh? Dude, you're gonna sit across from a dinner. You're gonna sit ac- across from an Italian restaurant. My wife, it's okay if we spend this much. He goes, oh, Well, yeah, you could spend that. Oh, dude, that little chuckle. Oh, that little chuckle cost me a hundo. I go, mmm. Anyway. Uh, so I watched this, this movie with them and my wife is like, you know what? Sometimes women be saying stuff and I just don't really, uh, I, you know, she says, you know what someone should do? Make a place with a, with a pod, with a, with a stage that's for podcasts and they're live so people could come see them. And you just have podcasts each each night. Now, on its face, hey, if you like podcasts, that's a fantastic idea. But then you run into a whole bunch of other problems. So I'm hitting my wife with all the problems. I'm like, well, sweetie, uh, podcasts, everyone listens to them at home and in their work. So going out to see them live, they might do that once in a while, but not not every night. And she says, well, you get different podcasts each night. I say, okay, how do you book them? She says, well, you just get comedians you like. I say, who? She says, well, like the four of you. You guys would go and do one one night and you do a podcast. It's like a live podcast. Everyone goes to see because they would love to see it. And I said, okay. And then who, how do you get paid? And she says, well, you make money off the tickets. I say, okay. So then the four of us make money. So I'm taking a fourth of the money I would make then if I would to go do stand up at this place because I get all the money. And she was like, well, yeah, but it's fun. And I said, oh yeah, I know, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to go out for a night. And by the way, if I do, she could be like, oh, you're going out again. Oh, so yeah. So you set up a booby trap, sweetie. So now that's another reason why it can't be done. And then I say, so it's specifically like for podcasts. She's like, yeah. I was like, so then what about how you could just do a podcast anywhere else? You could do it at the laugh factory, the comedy store, the improv you, you do people do live podcasts at theaters. And she was like, huh? I still think it's a good idea. And I'm like, but it's been debunked. Chicks get an idea in their head, you know, and they're just like, they just need to do it, you know, which I should have done it. How much of a dude would I have been if I just did it? And I'm like, okay, I made the theater. Now look, it's not getting booked. (laughs) The hang idea was the craziest part, actually, babe. She popped in the, she popped in the door. She said, what about the hang idea? This is actually the craziest. This is about the crazy. This is about the craziest part, babe. Babe. She closed the door. She says, but don't you think people would love to pay to watch you guys hang out? And I said, yeah. They'd pay to watch us fuck too. I don't want them here. It's like inviting people over to my house. I invited four of them over to my house because I wanted them over to my house, not random people buying popcorn. I know they're in the audience, but also... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> dude you can't just be like they're just hanging you're cute you're cute as shit you are cute as shit I debunked it I don't know man she's cute as shit though you know I Calvin's four dude I can't believe Calvin's four I can't believe we have a four year old and an almost one year old dude god kids are so funny we, we made it we had a cake and we, we brought him out with a cake out uh, on his birthday. The birthday party was on the 17th and his birthday's the 18th. On the 18th, we had a birthday cake for him and we lit up, we lit matches and put it in. We go, okay, we got to blow it out. We say, Happy birthday to you. We do all the birthday. 
and then he and he said he said okay um blow them out but wait Kristen says make a wish I said you make a wish you don't tell us and then you keep it to yourself and then you blow the candles out and then the wish might come true all right yeah, it's all bullshit doesn't happen but you know for kids it's like oh really okay cool another fun thing that everyone lies about and it's okay. so um so we say okay so he goes like this so he says uh so he says okay and he goes like this and he goes and blows out the candles. And then Kristen says, wait. Um, oh, wait, no, it was before he blew out the candles. It was before he blew out the candles. He says, he goes, he goes okay, I have it. And, and then Kristen says, wait, before you blow out, you need to make a wish and don't tell anyone, okay? And he says, okay. And then I said, remember, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I said, do you have it? And he says, inflatable wacky tube, man. On the, w- cracked on the stand, you know. Also, I don't want to say worst wish because so cute and that's what he wants. But we have twenty of them, so he told us, and now he can't get one because the wish can't come true because he said it out loud and we told him not to twice, no, three times. She said it twice, I said it once. So there we go. The the funniest part in 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 on his birthday, I think though, was when he woke up because he he slept in our bed on the on the night before, like as a fun thing. He woke up in the morning, and I said, Calvin, or I think actually Kristen said, Calvin, you're four, and he said, I am right now, <laughs> dude, so cute. Ah, <sighs> ah. Uh. It is what it is. You know, it's so cute. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm going to be in Kitchener. I'm going to be in... Um, fuck, I forgot to plug my dates. Great. I'm going to be in Rochester. Actually, I've been selling a lot of tickets to Rochester lately. I don't know what's going on. They amped up the promotion, maybe. Um, Corpus Christi. And I will be in uh, Houston and also Shreveport. Uh, so uh, go get tickets. And I got like Chattanooga coming, a bunch of different ones. Norfolk, Chrisley.com. Uh, thanks for listening to the podcast. And that's it for YouTube. Um, if you want to watch the rest of the episode on Patreon, watch the extended episode. You pay just six bucks and you can watch all of the every month. We come out with an extra Patreon episode that is accessed and you can watch that as well. And it is absolutely bonkers. And it you can watch 30. I think we have 36 of them on there now. So if you pay just six bucks, you watch all 36 of them right now. Patreon.com slash Chris Leah. Thank you very much, guys. Uh,